Now we are ready to start model our piece of road. But uh, before we continue, uh, I'll say a few words about uh, modeling techniques. In uh, 3ds Max and uh, most likely other modeling applications too, you can model things several ways and reach the uh, same end result. So, there is no right or wrong way to model things. It's more like pers personal view how you like to do it. For example, some people like to loft raised surface. Other will build a spline cage and apply a surface modifier on it. Some modelers extrude raised surface. Someone uses sweep modifier over spline and so on. So when you get used uh, to your modeling application, you will find the way will, will, uh, way which suits you best. And that is the way you do it. Um, same time, uh, it's, a good, uh, it's good to keep your mind open, test and learn new techs. And maybe something you learned suits you better than the tech you used before. And uh, that's actually the fun part of the module. Uh, it's uh, challenging yourself, learn new things, and maybe imp improve your skills on the way. Uh, what I'm showing here on this Hangout uh, is uh, my way to do things. Uh, these methods are no less right or wrong, but um, these are the methods uh, which I personally use at the moment. So, hopefully you find uh, something useful from it. Uh, and uh, hopefully it uh, uh, helps you with your track projects in the future. Okay, so let's up uh, uh, let's set up uh, the max uh, viewport settings units and model our first piece of the road. So first, uh, I will extend uh, the one viewport in the full screen over here. And next thing, what we need to do can't get rid of that already is, uh, excuse me, uh, set up the viewport settings. So, in this uh, customize menu, we have references. And here we can find uh, viewports tab. And uh, the aim of the of the viewport uh, configuration is that uh, we want it uh, to the textures shown on the meshes as accurate as possible. So we need to configure the driver to make that happen. So in here, here in appearance preferences, we have a few things what we need to look after. First. We need to back background texture size to the maximum, 1024 10, in this case, and tick the match bitmap size as closely as possible. And also, we want uh, 3ds Max to download the texture in the uh, best possible accuracy and match the size as closely as possible. And the texture lookup should be in the near two. And that's pretty much what we need to do in the viewports. So let's quick recap again. Customize, preferences, configure driver, appearance preferences, max texture size, match bit, bitmap ticket, download maxed out, and match bit, bit, bitmap size ticket and take a look up nearest. Okay, so now our viewport is ready. Next thing what we need to do is set up the units. So the, all the objects what we are modeling here scales up correctly in the game. So again, 
customize. And here we can find unit setups setup. We will use metric scale and then system unit setup is one unit is one meters. Then it scales correctly. So quick recap. Customize unit setup metric system unit setup one unit equals one meters. Okay, so now we have set up viewport and units. And we have our, our max environment ready. Uh, but uh, before we model our first road piece, uh, let's uh, talk a few words about the good practices when working on track in 3ds Max. On average size track, uh, there will be easily several hundreds in video objects in your track scheme. As you can imagine, it will be, it will be very difficult to find wanted object from mass of meshes until you organize them some way from the beginning. In the other, in other hand, uh, if you have uh, no handy way to hide or freeze objects during modeling something else, you will bog down the max because of uh, extreme memory usage. And the max can even crash on situations like this. Oh, oh by the way, uh, if the max crashes, it can corrupt your project file and then all your work is gone. When that happens, there is no way to get max file open. Again. So, it's extremely important to save incremental versions of your max file. If one get, gets corrupted, you can go back to the previous version and continue work there. Another thing which, should, uh, uh, which you should set up in the beginning is the autosave function in 3ds Max. Uh, autosave will save your max file in certain intervals which helps you also if bad things happen. And uh, actually, if you don't know how to set up it, uh, search 3, 3ds Max autosave in YouTube. It's uh, pretty easy, simple, a few clicks and then it's ready. And then when we start working with track and uh, have a more, more than one object on it, it's a good way to organize the track object is layering. Uh, in 3ds Max, uh, it works same way as in Photoshop. Uh, so you can add objects to layer, hide the layer, which gives you room to edit something else in the scene, and freeze uh, also Windows resources in 3ds Max, which uh, reduces possibility of crash. And Max works better. So when when you try uh, start layering, this is the layer tab here, and it's layer. Uh, make own layers at least to the terrain, arm, arm cons and walls, buildings and structures, uh, three uh, trees and other vegetation, and. Uh, uh, then it's easy to hide walls, for example, if you are working something on terrain, etc. And uh, it's a good practice practice to start doing this from the beginning. When you have uh, something like 800 objects in your scene, uh, you can e easily spend a day uh, for just moving the objects to the layers. And uh, if you do this uh, layering, uh, different ob objects in the beginning, you save uh, lots of work, work afterwards. So just, uh, just uh, start doing it in the, in the beginning. 